Pterodactyl here, and today I'm going to show you how to install a new PTO clutch on one of these here Xmark Zero Turn lawnmowers. And the clutch we're going to use is an extreme, an extreme outdoor power equipment PTO clutch. They are the high performance clutch leader. And let me tell you a little bit about this clutch. They have what's called cool coil technology. They have somehow come up with some kind of top secret way of lowering the heat temperature on their clutches, which makes it last longer. They have what's called cool coil technology for longer bearing and clutch life. So let's open it up and take a look. They have what's called a fat boy bearing, named after the kid down the street. It's got a snap ring, you can take it out. Look at the old bearing. You can tell this one's bigger, wider, it's even fatter. And they use a billet pulley. A billet pulley is a pulley that was machined out of one solid piece of steel, it's not like this one. This is like a stamped steel pulley. Now the problem with this old clutch is the bearing failed on the back. Now I can probably knock this apart and grind those little nubs off of there and, and find a bearing and replace it, but this clutch is from 2003, it's about 13 years old, and chances are the rest of the clutch is wore out too, so might as well just go ahead and put a new one in. Now very important, on the back they got a sticker. Warning, use a torque wrench. And they want you to check the electrical voltage because they want to make sure you don't have an electrical problem that's going to short out this new clutch. But that's all explained in the instructions. But I want to talk about using a torque wrench. And the reason you're going to use a torque wrench and not an impact wrench is they want to make sure you got the proper torque on this bolt. Because you're going to be squeezing these bearings. And if you squeeze them, put too much preload on them, you're going to have premature bearing failure. So it's important for the warranty of this clutch and to make sure the clutch performs like it's supposed to that you use a torque wrench. So we're just going to go ahead and install the clutch on this here X mark. Okay, the old clutch, the connector plugged into the back of the clutch. This new extreme clutch comes with a long whip and you can see that this one is all wrapped around and it goes through a connector here. That's where we're going to connect a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these zip ties off this anti-rotation device. And we can just unplug this. All right. Now there's a spacer on this here X mark, and then here's the new clutch. We're just going to go ahead and line it up, line up the keyway. Here's our anti-rotation device, which gets bolted to here. We got this goes in there and here's our bolt. Now they go over the bolt so you know what torque to use. This is a 7 16 20 volt and one way you can tell it takes a 5 8 socket and it's a grade 5 because it's got the three marks so we're going to torque it to 50 to 55 foot pounds. Okay now if you got six of these little dashes on the head of your bolt it's a grade 8 but this is a 7 16 Okay, all these clutches have some type of anti-rotation device and what that is, is that holds the, the clutch steady so when you engage it, the clutch doesn't spin with the motor and rip the wires out. So make sure you got your anti-rotation device bolted down and in this case, on this X mark, it uses a, a metal strap 
with the bolt that fits into one of these slots on the clutch. So now we're going to torque it. And you're probably thinking, well, how are you going to torque it with a torque wrench? Because the crankshaft's going to spin while you're trying to torque it. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to use a pipe wrench because we have a, a shaft on this X mark that sticks out. Now, if you've got a riding mower, you may be able to get a little pipe wrench around the top pulley up there to hold it for you from underneath. So in this case, we got to go up underneath this and when I go to torque it it's going to grab them teeth. Now I've already got this set to 55 foot pounds. See now it's holding that. Pipe wrench is holding the other end of the crankshaft. We're going to do this till it clicks. There we go. There's our 55. All right. Don't forget take pipe wrench off. Now all we got to do is Zip tie our wires. And then you have to do what's burnishing the clutch. That also tells you in the instructions. So we're going to go ahead and hook all this up. Cut that thing out of there. You know what? We can even wrap this around the way they had it. From X mark, they had it wrapped around here. There's plenty of this left. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this down like they had it with these two zip ties. All right, now I'm going to reinstall the belt. Got it all in. Make sure your wires aren't going to interfere with the belt. Got it all zip tied down here. Got this locked in. Okay. Now we're going to start it and then we're going to burnish it in now. It's a lot easier to just watch a video instead of reading the instructions because I already read the instructions. All you got to do is watch the video or maybe you can't read. So what they tell you to do to burnish the clutch is you want to start the engine and run it at about half throttle. And then you're going to turn the PTO on and you're going to let the blades come up to full speed for a couple seconds. Then you're going to shut it off and you're going to let the blades stop and you're going to do that again. And you have to do it 10 times. All right? I'll say it again. 10 times. We don't need them anymore. I already read them. Parking brake. Check. Choke. Check. That's about half throttle. PTO clutch on your piece of power equipment, you need to get an extreme clutch. 
You won't be disappointed, and there's your dinner.